Hi, I think it says I'm live. Hey, it's Elizabeth. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about flow and what that has to do with nutrition. I'm just about to make a smoothie. And, um, you know, I have a coaching program and one of my signature tenets of my program is freedom and flow. So what the heck does flow have to do with nutrition? Well, I think freedom and flow has to do with so many different things about life, but you know, as far as nutrition goes, there are many different schools of thought. Um, I believe that we're all bio individuals. And so what is great for me might make you seriously sick. So I think a great rule of thumb when you're thinking about eating well and um, considering nutrition is to pay attention to your own body and your own needs. Get down, kitty. <clears throat> Just my cat, no worries. Um, and so when we really get grounded in our own bodies and we tune in, <clears throat> excuse me, we are really given the information that we need to make the decisions about what to eat. So instead of looking to an expert, thanks for viewing whoever's on here. Um, instead of looking to the expert, I help people tune into their own bodies and really you, well, hey, Monica, what's up, girl? You have the ability, the capacity, the knowing, the intuition to sort of pay attention to your body so that you know exactly what to eat. So, you know, I went to nutrition school. I learned about um, whole foods. And at the end of the day, if you only know one thing about nutrition, I would say, well, I would say two things. The first thing is, a great rule of thumb is if you can pick it off a tree or get it out of the ground, it's probably pretty good for you. And of course, if it can be organic, even better, or if it's not genetically modified, because humans really weren't meant to ingest herbicides, insecticides, all these other things. So if you can eat foods that are coming out of the ground or off of a tree that haven't been sprayed and that are organic, a phenomenal website for nutrition is ewg.org. It's Environmental Working Group. <clears throat> phenomenal organization that is looking out for consumers. Um, so you can type in a food and it will give you a grade and it'll tell you why it's either good or not good. Um, <clears throat> phenomenal website. So I was just going to tell you what I'm putting in my smoothie today. For so long, I was drinking smoothies every morning when I gave up coffee for a year. Felt amazing. And I honestly haven't been drinking a lot of smoothies lately, and I can tell um, my husband was sick, and now I'm starting to get whatever he had. So it's important to eat well all the time, but especially when you're sick, um, because really what you ingest becomes your blood. So obviously, if you're eating something that's whole and natural, then it's going to make your cells be really healthy. So today in my smoothie I have water, <clears throat> um, mila seeds, which are a form of chia seeds, um, maca powder. Here I'll just show you what it looks like. <clears throat> maca powder. I learned about this in nutrition school. It's amazing. It gives a really good um, texture to the smoothie. I have a celery organic. I have like a quarter of an organic cucumber. I'm going to do a tiny little organic apple, some organic strawberries, and some organic blackberries. And I, this is not my favorite peanut butter, but I love putting a little bit of peanut butter in my smoothies. It just gives it a little sweetness and um, just, I don't know, it gives it really good texture. And then I also put ice in my smoothies. I like stuff to be super cold. It tastes more refreshing to me that way. So that is what I wanted to um, to talk about today. Thanks for joining, Monica. Um, <clears throat> so really, you have exactly what you need to thrive. <clears throat> I would encourage you to get quiet and get still and to pay attention to what your needs are and just start to notice if you eat a certain type of food, like what do you feel like afterwards? Are you full of energy? Are you tired and fatigued? Are you hyper? Um, certainly preservatives, dyes, all the kinds of things that are flooded in the American diet have severe effects on our health. So don't judge yourself. Just notice like what's happening when you're eating and really start to tune into your own intuition because I believe that you have exactly what you need. 
So that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I uh, will see you on the next broadcast and enjoy the weather here in Minneapolis. It's gorgeous. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.